you are by yourself again. So, yeah. Well, That's, the white one's gone, and you got a red one in here now. I've got a red and black toolbox in here. Cool, cool, cool. I'm not just a huge fan on red, but when I saw this one at Expo, it just popped with that black trim like it is. Yeah. I really like that. Well, how are those boxes doing? Uh, from from what I've heard and, and, and success myself, they, they're doing really good. I mean, the price point on them and everything like that, everybody's liking them. I, I can't wait for them to do something with a 4S. You know, we keep getting a teaser that something's going to happen with them. Um, I, I'm ready to see. Because, you know, you wouldn't think that a couple of changes like that would make yeah. make the appearance and everything, but it was nice. I'm ready to see one of those three-bay top boxes on a Rebel X is what I'm ready to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. I got a couple of new things. I see one of them right there. Which one? This? Yeah. Yeah, I I bought that to kind of Pretty stock cool. the truck with, and I didn't think much about selling it, um, but people's been buying them. So it's a 50-piece socket set on the little well, it's, rail. Yes, but there's a drawback to it. So you remember me saying I bought it to stock? Yeah. The reason I bought it to stock is because it's the most commonly lost or broken sets so it's not like a one through ten or anything right. like that it's got multiples of everything so it's got three of the uh 15 t15 three of the t20 the three of the t25 and just so and so on it's got like um i think let's see where's the sockets at i think it's got like three 10 millimeter sockets mm -hmm. or no four 10 millimeter sockets two eights so be a lot harder to lose all your tens when you got that <laughs> yeah. many, right? So that that's, that's pretty a cool. pretty nice set. I bought them mainly, uh, like I told the guy that bought the other one that I had. I, I bought three. I said, if you want to buy it, that's fine. That's not what I bought it for. I bought it to, to keep uh, for warranty purposes. Mm -hmm. But he really wanted it, and so hey, here it is. <laughs> so that's what it looks like out of a plastic. Yeah, that's what right it, that's here. what it looks like. Of course, there is some missing because I have been pulling for warranty and stuff like that, but. That's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty nice. The other new thing we got out, we talked about the 3 8 um, a while back, but now the half inches, they did get released, and I finally got, I think I got two in. Uh, one's pre-sold, but same size, just half inch, mm -hmm. so good What's fit. the foot pounds on those? I, I think three something. You know, we, we've still got our bigger uh, impacts and stuff, so it's not we didn't try to knock it out of the park with these um breakaways 310 max torque 220 so but just i mean they just feel right in your hand yeah i like the way they the grip on them i like it's fat that's what yeah. i like about it but I, they they've went over well the three eighths i can't keep them in stock i'll get four or five in at a time and sell them within a couple of days so uh, I feel like that half inch will be gone by the end of the day. I've got one set aside because I know somebody that told me to order it for them. So um, I've got it put up because I know if I put it out, somebody would try to, <laughs> to tempt me to sell it. But the other thing that I'm kind of super excited about is everybody likes camo, right? We kind of teased it at Expo that it was coming out. It was limited edition. It even says it on the box. Uh, I ordered almost 10 of these and I've got one left. So. Cool. I wanted to have one for the video, um, which is it's just like the orange and green ones that we had come out. Same power, everything. Still got the the I call it the comfort grip here. Mm -hmm. Basically, keep your hand from getting freezing cold and lets you move without actually having to reposition your hand. But one of the most powerful uh, on the market. So I've had people respond well. I've had people that already had air hammers that bought these just because of the color. Mm -hmm. I had a guy yesterday that talked about buying it and not using it. I you said, mean, oh, what did you say? Guy talked about buying no, it. No, before that. The guy bought it just for what? Yeah, color. Yep. The color. Yep. So you made people do that? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, I, I feel like that one will probably sell by the end of the day, too. I kind of hit it yesterday after that guy was so eager in it. And <laughs> he was talking about he wanted it, but he wasn't going to use it. And, um, 
I fooled myself. I got two left. I got one hanging up. So I didn't have to hide that one, but either way. Well, there was like, <clears throat> I don't know, probably seven or eight people sent me a message. They were like, hey man, you and Michael must have stirred the pot enough that Matco's sending out color surveys. I'm like, really? So they sent me a link to the, I guess they're sending out emails to certain yeah. people, I don't know. Well, I, I encourage everybody to fill it out. Let's, let's make well, the survey. Well, I, I went in it and looked at it. And um, I don't know, it didn't come out and say, would you like to see these colors on the Matco truck? Yeah. To me, it was trying to prove the point that blue is associated with Cornwell is what I got out of the whole survey. Well, and it may be. Um, I still think everybody fill it out, you know, mm -hmm. because if you don't think blues with Cornwell, it has a spot to fill it out. So um, I didn't, I, the first time I saw the surveys when you sent it to me, so I didn't know about it, but uh, I've told a couple of people about it that were really wanting blue and other stuff. I've told them to fill it out and stuff. So, well, um, what I think they should have done to been fair was put all the little color chips on the thing. Says, what colors would you like to see on the Mac country? Yeah. Not set it up for failure to prove the point that blues cornwell hell we know blues cornwell it's their damn trucks is half blue yeah you know but my point being was don't use that excuse if you're going to sell red tools because snap-ons had red forever don't use that excuse you know because you're selling orange because your inch has been orange for years yeah you know that's the point that i made like that's just a crazy excuse yeah I hope I hope to see the results of this survey within the next couple of weeks. I don't know how long it is. Um, I haven't had a chance to call and see uh, how long the survey is for and stuff like that. But I'm eager to see the outcome of it. Mm -hmm. uh, it at least tells me that they're they're trying to do some research on it and see. So, but I guess we'll see what happens. But I wish they'd have done the survey a little bit different, though. You know, yeah. with the with the three blue chips saying, do you associate, what color do you associate with Cornwell? Yeah. And all of them was blue, you know? Yeah. So, but, anyway. You know, it, at the end of the game, at least we did a survey and see, but yeah, it could have been did a little differently, but that's that's part of it, but. Oh, well. Yeah, that that's a good looking impact. I like the way it feels. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not, it's not going to have the 1,600 foot panels that our big one does. We still push it for the big stuff, but mm -hmm. we find it more and more um, people using half inch stuff for smaller and stuff like that. So, you know, you normally associate uh, three eighths all the way up to around 18 right. or 19, uh, but we're seeing a lot more techs using half inch as low as, you know, 14s, 12s. So if that's, if that's their pick, then we have mm -hmm. a gun for them. Um, but I don't see you taking off tires with it. I know you could probably break some tires loose with it, um, but I don't see it being your everyday tire gun. Right. You know, we have the bigger one for that, but uh, it's a nice little impact compact. You know, it's gonna get into a lot tighter spaces and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, and at worst case scenario, you reach up there, break it loose, and then use that to run it out and run it up. I mean, either way, it's better than having to do it all by hand. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, I know they say warranty times are done all by manual time, uh, manual tools. I disagree. Uh, I've been beat way too many on warranty, uh, especially on recalls, to know that it was all manual. Uh, yeah. Now, some of them I made more money than what was projected, and some of them ate my lunch, but mm. I, I don't believe the whole some guy had all the tools and manual and was able to do it in this time. Just not the way. But we, we've been told that for so long that that's just what we go with at this point. But that's other true. Other than that. Well, that's a good looking impact. Yeah, we have a couple of new things on the truck. We had the impact, we had the, uh, the air hammer, we had the sockets. Um, I'm hoping some more new stuff keeps rolling in. Um, that way we can have more. I'm trying to get some carts in. I'm wanting to build some more of the the tech packages that yeah, I used to do. Yeah, those are really good. I think I'm going to do it with one of these boxes here and may do it with both. But I think if if I can get one of those impacts to last long enough, get that impact and maybe an, uh, give them the choice between that air hammer or an orange one and then a couple of different style ratchets and stuff in there mm -hmm. with some socket sets, I think that would, because of that price point of that box, I can build a pretty good 
uh, tech package to where the tech can get in it and have everything he needs to start. And instead of starting in a cart that he's going to outgrow, he right. can start in a box that'll last that much longer. Mm -hmm. um, every time I've ever did the cart packages, they've sold really well. And I've got people who bought the cart packages when I first started three years ago, because uh, three year mark was last week. I was actually in training this week of uh, three years ago. I was in Stowe, but I've, they've still got the carts that I sold them. So uh, if they've lasted them three years and they've not outgrown them, I feel like when they go into this, they're right. going to have, you know, at least Long five or time. six years, yep. you know, or more. That's they're, true. So somebody just coming out of school or something like that, these boxes right here are probably the best bet for them. There you go. Unless they need to be mobile, then a yeah. cart would be it. I think really a guy needs, I mean, in two he could get by with this, that box and like a two drawer service cart yeah. or something, you know. But it's nice to have that service cart rolling right up beside you when you're working on yeah. stuff. Yeah, well, and it, it. All, it all depends on the shop that you work in um, because when I worked at the dealership, we didn't have room for carts. Um, they had your bay right in front of your box, mm -hmm. and so you just turned around and there was your box. There was really no need for a cart there. Right. Um, but if you work in some of these other shops that they've got your box stuffed on the other side of the shop and you're having to run back and forth, well, that your productivity is just way down. I actually um, like having it. <clears throat> when I'm on the lift uh, yesterday when we was doing that airbag job, I pulled my cart up under there and I was able to lay all the stuff right there. Like That's what I like about that it. Been, right there. Yeah, that know? would have been very convenient at the dealership, but they just wouldn't allow it. They, you know, now, the downside of that is you have to pay attention when you get done. You know, <laughs> yeah. like, did I get all my junk out from under there? Yeah. You know? so, but yeah, well, I like having it under there and being able to set bolts and nuts and the tools like... You well, know, I mean, when you don't need this socket, but you're going to need it again in a second, just lay it right there and you got it. At, yeah, and it know. goes right back to productivity. Nice. You know, if you're just turning around grabbing instead of having to walk back to the front of the vehicle, because that's where ours was, was in front of the vehicle. Now, ours was actually bolted to the floor. Um, so, I mean, it, it would have helped. Yeah. Like you said, there would have been some people that would have to really remember. Even just a little two shelf cart would yeah. be nice, you know, not to. Well, now, um, we did have the little two, sh the the just the two shelf roll arounds. Mm -hmm. They were nice. I was talking more like the the roll cart style, but yeah, yeah. The, the the two. Just anything you can lay your tools yeah. and parts on where it's right there. Well, that's... that was nice doing brakes and stuff too, because yeah. you could have the new pads there mm -hmm. prepped, ready to go. Um, I know some people don't prep brake pads, but it was always, you know, I always put that uh, noise stuff on the back yeah. of them, and and we actually got to where we were having to bevel the edges on some of the brake pads because if you didn't they would make an absolute terrible noise about three weeks into it i guess yeah. the dust was getting trapped but so we were actually beveling the edges and it worked really well um in fact uh, we had some toyota reps watch us do it and it wasn't long after that that they were they were coming beveled so yeah uh, it really helped but i don't know if they still come beveled or not but yeah, the the, t the little roll arounds, and I sell a good many of those from time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, it just it somebody has to use one to see how valuable it yeah. is. I love them, especially like oil changes and stuff. Man, yeah. I put all my oil and filters, everything on it. It's it's great. Yeah, if you're not having to run back and forth, it saves time. Yeah, well, so. I like it too because you don't have to bend over and pick it up off the floor and all that. You know. Yeah. And, well, and, and that matters when you're when you're doing something in a tight spot and, and you finally get something started and you need the next part. Well, it helps when, like me, I got, you know, I'm kind of <laughs> fat, so it helps me a lot. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Anything I can do to keep from pinching fat rolls. Yeah. All you skinny guys, y'all don't know nothing about all that. No. But all, all my chunky guys, y'all can feel my pain on there, you know. <laughs> But this is how I look at it. You know, fat people get sick and lose weight. Skinny people get sick and die. So it's just insurance. Well, I've never thought That's about That's all it is. <laughs> I've never just thought insurance. about it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So, and, and I may, I may, now that you say that, I may buy a, a cart and get it brought in and, and have that part of the package deal too. A little two, yeah, little two shift two roll around roll. cart and a couple of impacts and, you know, probably a half inch and a three eighths impact, and then do the air hammer, pry bars, ratchet, screwdrivers. Um, COVID really affected everybody different, but 
it affected Maco kind of in a positive way. I mean, there's negative effects of back orders and stuff, but we've had a lot of sales this year. Yeah. Uh, every all, we've had so we because we weren't able to do Expo in February, we had like a refuel your business event, so we had that, and then we turned around and and had sales meeting in between, and then we had a, a our actual Expo in May, and then we come right back and we had we're gonna have a sell we done had a sales meeting just to have another one so and then we're gonna turn around in february and go back to expo so we've actually been able to have a bunch of sales this year and that's well, I can tell matco this this is gonna be my final thoughts of the day for a close video but i can tell matco how they can boost business i have a feeling i know what you're fixing to say just make blue tools <laughs> there you go that's the secret matco quit being goofy and spending wasting all this money on these silly surveys and just make blue tools be done with it that's what people want <laughs> all right guys like always if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes is down there we added some new ones like always click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed y'all have a great one catch you later <laughs>